determine the common ratio and the next three terms of the following geometric sequence. So, given na yung ating number 1, 4, 8, 16, and so forth. Then, yung common ratio niya ay 2. So, pakita natin kung paano nakuha si common ratio. So, para makuha natin yung common ratio, kailangan natin i-divide si second term kay first term. So, yung ating second term dito sa number 1 ay 8. Then, yung ating first term ay 4. So, 8 divided by 4, ang sagot natin ay so, para ma-confirm natin if sito na ba yung common ratio, ang gagawin natin ay kailangan natin i-divide si third term kay second term. So, 16 divided by 8, ang sagot natin ay also 2. Therefore, yung ating common ratio ay 2. Then, para makuha natin si next three terms, ang gagawin natin ay Imumultiply natin C2 kay 16. So, 16 times 2, ang sagot natin ay 32. Then, times ulit tayo ng 2 dito para makuha natin yung pang fifth term. So, 32 times 2, ang sagot natin ay 64. Then, times ulit tayo ng 2 para makuha natin yung pang sixth term. So, 64 times 2, ang sagot natin ay 128. Therefore, yung next 3 terms dito sa 4, 8, 16 ay 32, 64, and 128. So, ito yung gagawin nating process para makuha natin yung common ratio and next 3 terms dito sa mga sumusunod. Number 2, 972, 324, 108, and so forth. So, para mahanap natin yung common ratio nito, ang gagawin natin ay I-divide natin si second term kay first term. So, yung second term dito ay third 24. So, 324 divided by yung ating first term ay 972. So, 324 divided by 972, ang sagot natin ay 1 third. So, para ma-confirm natin, let's divide 108 kay 324. So, 108 divided by 324, ang sagot natin ay also 1 third. So, para makuha natin yung susunod na term, ang gagawin natin ay imumultiply natin si 1 third kay 108. So, 108 times 1 third, magiging 108 divided by 3, ang sagot natin ay 36. Next, para makuha natin yung pang fifth term. 36. Ito yun. Times 1 third. So, magiging 36 divided by 3. Sagot natin ay 12. Next, times ulit tayo ng 1 third kay 12. Para makuha natin yung pang sixth term. So, 12 times 1 third. So, magiging 12 divided by 3. Sagot natin ay 4. Therefore, yung next 3 terms dito sa ating sequence na 972, 324, 108 ay 36, 12, and 4. Then, yung common ratio ay 1, 3. Number 3, negative 3, 12, negative 48, and so forth. So, para makuha natin yung common ratio, same process lang sa ginawa natin kanina. So, si second term, which is si 12, divide natin kay first term, which is si negative 3. So, 12 divided by negative 3, ang sagot natin ay negative 4. So, ganun din yung gagawin natin. So, confirm natin. Let's divide negative 48 kay 12. So, negative 48, divide natin kay 12, sagot natin ay also negative 4. Para makuha natin yung next 3 terms, dahil meron na tayong common ratio, multiply natin si negative 4 kay negative 48. So, negative 48 times negative 4, ang sagot natin ay positive 192. 
Then, times natin ulit si negative 4 dito kay 192. So, 192 times negative 4, ang sagot natin ay negative 768. Then, multiply ulit tayo ng negative 4 dito. So, negative 768 times negative 4, ang sagot natin ay positive 3072. Therefore, yung next 3 terms dito sa negative 3, 12, negative 48 ay 192, negative 768 at 3072. Therefore, yung ating common ratio ay negative 4. Then, yung ating next 3 terms ay 192, negative 768 at 3072. Number 4. 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 2.5, and so forth. So, same process lang yung gagawin natin. Divide natin si second term kay first term. So, 0 0.5, divide natin kay 0 0.1. So, 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.1, ang sagot natin ay 5. So, confirm natin, divide natin si third term kay second term. So, 2.5, Divided by 0.5, ang sagot natin is also 5. So, para makuha natin yung next term, ang gagawin natin ay imumultiply natin si 5 kay 2.5. Yung ating common ratio ay 5. So, 5 times 2.5, ang sagot natin ay 12.5. Next, 12.5 times 5, ang sagot natin ay 62.5. Then, multiply ulit tayo ng 5 kay 62.5. So, 62.5 times 5, ang sagot natin ay 312.5. Therefore, yung ating next 3 terms dito sa 0.1, 0.5, and 2.5 ay 12.5, 2.5 and 312.5 then yung ating common ratio ay 5 so sulat natin 12.5 62.5 and 312.5 next 10,000, 1,000, 100 and so forth so same process lang gagawin natin so pwede nyo i-post yung video at try nyo sagutan so Divide natin si second term kay first term. 1,000 divided by 10,000. So, 1,000 divided by 10,000, sagot natin ay 1 over 10. So, para makonfirm natin, pwede natin i-multiply na agad si 1 over 10 kay 1,000 or let's divide 100 kay 1,000. So, 100 divided by 1,000, sagot natin ay also 1 over 10. So, yung ating common ratio ay 1 over 10. So, para makuha natin yung next 3 terms, ang gagawin natin, i-multiply natin si 1 over 10 kay 100. So, 100 times 1 over 10, so magiging 100 divided by 10. Ang sagot natin ay 10. Next, 10 times 1 over 10. So, magiging 10 over 10. Ang sagot natin ay 1. Then, 1 times 1 over 10. Sagot natin ay 1 over 10. Therefore, yung next 3 terms sa number 5 ay 10, 1, and 1 over 10. 